They are, oh, red flag. We caused the red flag because we don't have enough fuel. <laughs> It's round three today in our first ever F1 Manager 23 season here with the return to glory for McLaren. Last time out, we had a very, very chaotic one at Jeddah with our first ever red flag on the game. Huge crash and fire. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't really gain too much from that because the car is just that bad. It really is uh, absolute Wagonar Plus vibes. But today, we have upgrades on the way. All these flashing red bits. It's, well, Lando, he has a broken chassis, but we have new chassis on the way. Upgraded chassis in five days' time. Side pods also in the way. Uh, the side pods, unfortunately, the first one's going to take 12 days to come in. And the Australian Grand Prix is in 11. So no new side pods for round three. But we do have a new chassis for round three, which will be very much needed. So we're going to leave that missing for now. Uh, for Lando on the chassis and the front wing as well. Uh, to be fair, I think we maybe probably should make another front wing just in case because I think we only have... Well, we only have three, yeah? We only have three, yeah. So we went through two last episode. We're going through front wings quite a lot here. So let's maybe make another one uh, just in case. Uh, three days? Yeah, that's calm. So that's only going to be uh, that's a measly, measly 220k to make that front wing. Uh, and we'll sort out that missing part then for Lando's car once that chassis comes in, basically. But what else have we got to look at in our inbox? So car inspection and just the results from this was F2. At Jeddah as well. To be fair, right now, not really thinking about a junior driver quite yet. But poor chair doing well in second place. Jack doing as well in first. So uh, we'll keep an eye on a couple of them. But right now, very much just focusing on our two drivers, which are the youngest. Uh, is the youngest lineup in Formula 1. So there's really no reason to look further ahead in terms of what we've got in, t in terms of driving the car. And we need to give these guys a good car to actually show what they're made of. But we've got uh, the... Uh, this is the scouting I did on Simeone Resta. Just because I wanted to see what on earth his contracts may be like. We actually need to do some detailed scouting maybe just to see what his uh, what his contracts like. So I'll do some more detailed scouting because I do eventually want to sign a new technical chief. But right now, the man we were trying to sign, Tariq, he was being very stubborn with his price point. And he's only 79 rated. He's only two more than what we've got. You know, for Simeone Resta, I think, you know, he's been a big name in Formula 1. He's at Ferrari previously. I think, you know, if his salary is not too crazy, 82, I would rather try and poach him maybe from Haas rather than signing Tariq on a pretty big salary. So we'll keep an eye on that. Bit of a long-term play, but we've got a long season ahead of us. But we've got uh, requ required response then from our engineer and driver tension. Oh, no. Some tension between Lando Norris and their race engineer, William Joseph, which is uh, very off-brand because in real life, they're, they're absolutely working in unison. So... Not exactly why they're not getting along, but it's impacting driver morale. So there's a chance they'll work themselves out. So we've got two different responses. Acknowledge it. So that's going to just, you know, well, if we acknowledge it, the morale of Lando is going to go down. Plus, he's going to get aggressive, uh, aggressive out on circuit. If we intervene, tensions may improve, tensions may worsen. And the, so either way, the affinity is going to go down. But if we just acknowledge it, but just don't really intervene, Lando gets aggressive on circuit, his morale goes down. Um, and there's a 50-50 we intervene. I think we kind of, I'm going to intervene because these two should be working well together. They do in real life. And I think Lando being aggressive on circuit may not be a great thing for us. I'm thinking back to last year's game where there were so many times where I got annoyed at our drivers crashing in the races because they were just too aggressive or just clumsy. So we're going to intervene and we're going to see what happens with that. Well, we're going to have to see later on, I guess, as we move on. And there we go. We've got the manufacturer of that new front wing, which is very much needed for Lando. So we're going to swap out a front wing and put that on to car number two. And we're going to still wait for the chassis to come in uh, eventually, which will be very, very soon. Low stock. Yeah, I know we've got low stock, but we've got the new chassis that's come in now. And we're going to give it to Mr. Norris. I've actually got two of them, actually. So we can give uh, two new chassis to both of the cars, basically. So absolutely amazing stuff. Swap out. Get that on on card one as well. So both cars now have the brand new chassis. We don't have a spare chassis, though. But I think that might come in in time, I think. Is there going to be one more? Yeah, there we go. 
and the design oh that's the design of the underfloor sorry so now we can manufacture the underfloor it will take eight days which isn't too bad then we've got a second one probably want a spare so manufacture three in one go eight days isn't too bad if we rush it it's going to cost us 600k which isn't that much to be honest and that will guarantee we get both floors in for next race maybe 7th of april um, I want to kind of check the calendar actually and just see. Yeah, cancel the project. I just want to see the calendar. When is the next race after? So that's Australia. And then we've got um, uh, the that that's Azerbaijan. So that's the one we're going to. And then 28th of April. So there's actually quite a big gap from Australia to Baku. So actually we can maybe afford... Oh, stop, 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 stop. Damn it, that was my mistake. Manufacture on the floor number two so 28th of april so both floors will be made in time with normal so we'll just save a bit of cost there it'll cost us 1.2 million just to make the three floors but that's uh, that's worth it but okay good that i looked at that because that just saves us some money of rushing it and then in terms of we need to actually start researching other things as well now so i'm going to research a new front wing I think. ATR periods in 31 days. So quite a big ATR period. So we can't waste too much because we want to keep enough hours on wind tunnel and CFD for everything, basically. So I'll go for go for 20, 21, 1.2 there on the front wing. And then kind of just a balanced thing because we just need to improve everywhere in all these downforce capacities. Brake cooling, I think we're pretty good. So we can maybe just lower that to maybe try and boost other areas maybe minimum lifespan again we'll try and bring this down just a little bit just to try and get us some uh lower extra weight airflow sensitivity let's maybe bump that up that will lower th other things won't it yeah so we're going to keep that all middle ground because at this stage where the car is everything needs to improve in a balance there's not really a specific area we're looking at engineers will put three on this uh, that'll be 8th May. That's quite a long time, to be fair. If we rush it, it'll be 25th of April. Cost us a bit more, but I want to I wanna rush through a front wing. I think we need to be rushing things, basically, this season because we just need to rapidly get this car a lot better. Going to design something else. Suspension. Let's look at the suspension. Usually, historically, I've kind of not cared too much about suspension, so let's give suspension a little bit of love. Uh, we'll go with 19 and... What, yeah, we'll go 1 and 19 there balanced i think drag reduction maybe you want a little bit uh, yeah i'll do a little bit towards uh drag reduction and then lifespan again let's just try and bring this down as much as we can right next uh i won't rush the suspension i think i'll put two engineers on it and i'll just do a normal 7th of may that's all right and then we'll start another project and we'll go for a rear wing let's make a really low drag rear wing i think i feel i feel like that might be good to pre-plan for like spa and stuff like that so let's go for 20 engineers, CFD, let's put like 2.0, and then let's really bring the drag reduction to a massive head here, uh, and the DRS delta as well, bring that up a little bit, as much as we can basically, and then bring that down to 3.6, yeah, okay, so that's going to be a big drag reduction rear wing for us, to be fair, that's also still going to improve the downforce as well, so it's not that bad, and then engineers, I'll put three on them, and I'll go for a normal approach. Sick the mate. That's all right. So a lot of things are coming in. The research is coming in for May, which is not too bad. And then we may as well do another chassis. Another chassis, maybe. I think spre spread our knowledge quite nicely with all these different things. Um, and then, right, in terms of the chassis, drag reduction, let's bump that up. I think engine cooling, we're, we're, we're okay at. Airflow middle, let's maybe put that up. And then lifespan, let's go for just a little bit of weight reduction there. And then put two engineers on it. That's going to take a bit of time. But actually, chassis, to, to say chassis is quite a big part of the car, really doesn't take that long, actually. 28th April, that's fine. So, yeah, we spent quite a bit of money there, down to 8 million on all these research projects. But that's a lot of good research in for later in the season. As we now come to the race prep for the Australian Grand Prix. I'm not going to go with any of these targets just because our car is not quick enough but I'm hoping the chassis could be a massive plus for us.
us this time around. In the end, after practice, pretty all right preparation. 89% for Oscar again, feeling a bit more confident into the weekend than Lando with 85%. But both their setups pretty damn good, I think, uh, yeah, especially compared to Jeddah. Because it was going to qualify and partly cloudy. Race day is going to be heavy rain, apparently. 86 on the setup, 76 for Lando. Still need to do a bit of work on that to get that up. Maybe you could even get 100% again like we did in qualifying. But going to head into Q1 and see how we do. I think I'm going to let the computer do its thing because I don't think I was very good at manually controlling them last time. But I'm just going to reconfigure Lando set up just a little bit. We've just got to get that traction in a better zone. That's surely got to be a good setup. Look at that. Pinpoint. Look at the tiny window Lando has for traction. Surely that's got to be enough. Surely. Lando setup's being reconfigured. That's going to take a little bit of time there, unfortunately. Quite a big setup change. So Lando's going to have all the pressure in the world to get the times in with maybe one less run, I think, looking at the time here. Wow, that is a big setup change. That is a big setup change. Oh, big setup change. Big setup change for Lando into quality. All right, go, go, go. Go, go, go. Reconfigure you, mate. Let's put you another set of softs. And I'm going to send you out again. I think we've got some good space after we've got this load of cars coming in. I think a lot of them are coming in now. So let's go send out. Go on, Oscar. Go on. Okay, that's a good amount of space. I think there's an Alpine right ahead of us, but that's what, no, that's a Red Bull. It's fine. Right, let's ride on board with uh, with Lando. See how we're doing here. Right, through to the last corner. I think this is him starting his lap, actually. So, yeah, he lost out a lot of time with that setup change. So, he's on the move. Piastri ran out P7, but not a lot of people actually set time. So, I think a lot of people also maybe sat in the garage to do some, uh, some setup management, maybe, potentially. As we've got a bit of traffic here. Oh, lovely shot as we go down the inside of the halves. And then Piastri's getting ready for his lap. What he can do, it's 1.5 off for Piastri. What's Lando going to do? Up into... Ooh, close staff, 1.7. They're pretty well matched, actually. Two tenths, though, to find. That might be the setup. I don't know. I don't know what the, what the confidence is for his setup right now. Let's see what Piastri's doing. It's yellow first sector. Not great. Yellow second sector. It's, uh, it's tough in quality on this game. I'm not seeing much improvement in quality like we did last year where you went on later runs and you could definitely find a bit of time. Oscar across the line and it is no improvement for him. Right, got Piastri and Lando both out. 15th and 16th again on the bubble of Q2, even with this new chassis. But I'm hoping this last run may be an improvement. We need it to be an improvement as Oscar begins his flying lap and Lando will begin his very, very soon. I brought the fuel down a little bit lower because I said uh, not to fuel up for a, a cool down lap. So I'm hoping that might help them out. Maybe. Right now, it's not looking great, though, in terms of the sector times. Very, very, um, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below, guys. I'm finding it hard to really figure out how you're meant to really improve a lot in quality because it seems like they're doing their first lap and then that's the best lap, pretty much, because I don't think Oscar's going to improve on this. 155, uh, 8. Um, I can reach you know, box yeah, he's not improved. That was his flying lap done. This is Lando's lap. He didn't improve his lap time. Neither will Lando, probably. I think it's something to do with the battery charge not being very high, because I saw that with the manual control on Jeddah. But I don't know how you're meant to, like, like how they're meant to recharge it when they're doing it on auto. Like, it, it's a bit of a weird one, because, yeah, Lando doesn't improve. Well, he improves a little bit, I think, with the uh, green last sector, but it's not enough. Not enough, but I'm hoping Piastri might just scrape into Q2 here, maybe. Unless Sonoda, De Vries, Joe and Bottas have something different to say about it. End of session. Come on, Piastri. Come on, Piastri. Get through into Q2. Sonoda's on a lap. Don't know if he's improving or not. I'm hoping the Alfa Romeos don't improve. Sonoda. Oh, Sonoda's racing the Ferrari. Joe's not improved. Hopefully Bottas won't. So it's all on Sonoda, but he's been held up by this Ferrari. So I don't think he will improve. And so maybe for the first time... We're going to get a car into Q2. Yes, Piastri is up into Q2. It's our first Q2 showing of the entire series in round three here. And he's outdone Lando, surprisingly. More confidence on the setup going into it. Good to see, mate. Well deserved. At his home race as well. In the end, Lando, I think his setup was 83% satisfaction with that last tweak. So it wasn't too bad. He just maybe, I don't know, wasn't in a rhythm as much as Oscar, who's now into Q2. Uh, for the first time. Awesome stuff. I'm going to do a run plan of uh, having the extra fuel. I'm going to try and manually take it over as he comes to the end of the lap and then try and save as much battery maybe 
So if I fuel up for maybe one additional lap and then just use it to harvest battery, I think maybe that's a way we can get more battery in. I'll use a, a used set of soft tires first and then we'll go for a last run. Right, this is Piastri on his flying lap as he comes through to the last couple of corners. I'm going to manually take control of this just to try and get some battery saving going maybe by the uh, you know by the time we get back to the pits because we fueled up for additional laps as we come through the final corner this is on a new set of soft tires so let's see what is it going to be for oscar how far off are we to alonso right now one second off the uh the the aston which is not great to be honest not recharge great Copy. so we're going to recharge up recharge up okay. so right now some very odd laps happening verstappen's down in p15 russell 11th and we're p10 two two williams into the top 10 at the moment so very very strange stuff but we're now at the end of the session i'm going to send him out in a second i think after here just behind hamilton okay that's all right we're blocking stroll there a little bit we'll get out of the way for him but um now we're gonna get ready i'm gonna go manual control i think let's go manual control and let's go a bit aggressive here. And we go through to the start of the lap and we're on deploy. Right, let's go. Let's go, Oscar. Let's see what we can do. I'm hoping this is going to be a better lap. Try to save as much battery as we could on the in-lap previously. Hopefully there's no traffic. I don't think these two cars are on, on flying laps. So I don't think there should be much traffic. Let's go visor cam for this. As we see, oh no, these two are racing a bit. Please don't say we're going to catch them. I don't think we should. I think we should be fine. Stroll, oh no, Stroll already did his flying lap, but he should get out of the way, I hope. I really hope, I really, really hope. Let's see what this first sector is going to be like. Is it going to be a green? I'm really hoping so. Tire temp's looking good. Oh, green first sector. Closing up to Stroll. Really hope we overtake him easily. Yes, gets out of the way. Lovely. Okay, Oscar's in a good, good start here. First sector green. First time we've had a green first sector. <laughs> this entire race weekend let's see what the second one's like yellow yellow okay not too bad got a bit of traffic ahead of us please get out of the way albon please get out of the way for the love of god get out of the way yes okay not too bad that's all right that's all right i hope that first green sector might be enough just to improve enough to get us back into the top 10 maybe here at uh, oscar's home race on the saturday through the last bend to the line come on what is it gonna be what is it gonna be it's oh we didn't improve we didn't improve we didn't improve i'm really baffled by um on this year's game qualifying it's really hard to improve the lap time still waiting to see what the oh red flag oh wait what red oh we caused the red flag because we don't have enough fuel <laughs> did we we just caused the red flag <laughs> Because we didn't have enough fuel. Oh, God. We got eliminated in P12. But that's a tactic, you know. Just just underfuel the car and stop out on track. P12, our highest qualifying position so far. Really decent. Sergeant got into P... We helped Sergeant get into P10. Russell absolutely would have knocked out Sergeant. So we helped the American get into, in, get into Q3. Fair play, but for us, P12, not bad. Unfortunate for Lando, but I have a good feeling about this race, you know. Now, about this race, it says heavy rain, but it looks pretty sunny right now. What the hell's the forecast saying? Uh, okay, sunny up until about lap, uh, well, lap, what, lap 30? So about maybe, uh, more than half of the race is dry and then it's wet, so we need to watch out for that. So I'm thinking here, if it's going to be wet there, we start on hards. Go to, we, we go to the end. Go, we, we're looking to go to, to the wet period on hards. Um, and pitting on lap, like lap, I would say, I think first sprinkles, lap 31. I think that should be fine. Hard should go the distance, right? And then heavy rain. Might even, it might even be worth the risk of going to, to, to full wet straight away. I don't know. Like, I think with Oscar, let's play it safe. And then maybe there's a stint to go on to wets later on at like lap you know in like you know lap 38 or something so let's let's update strategy there so for oscar we're gonna do that with lando we'll start on um we'll start on hards as well but i think maybe we go to full wets and just risk it go straight to full wets on lap 32 like a lap later 
and then see how that works out for us. Well, let's go for it. May as well try something with Lando because he's down in P16. With Oscar, we have a better chance, so let's play a bit safer, I guess. But good setup uh, in the end for both of them. We'll go aggressive at the start as per usual. And I don't know, from Oscar's P12, I have a good vibe for him. At his home race, let's get our first points on the board. The fans here in Melbourne are all set, as are the drivers, heading into 58 laps around Albert Park. And as we look to Logan Sargent, you can see the focus and concentration. Starting P10 puts them in the right place to get some points. Thanks to us. A lot to do. And it'll be exciting to see just what will happen here today. Get ready for the Australian Grand Prix. And it's lights out and away. And we're underway. Is it a good getaway? It's a Miss So So getaway for Piastri, who's down to P13 into turn one. Lando down to P17. So both our drivers losing positions as quicker cars overtake us. Piastri down to P14. A little bit of knock to confidence for him, maybe for that. And Norris down to P18. Not the best start. Not the best start. I wanted a bit more aggression from our drivers. Oscar gets a bit of uh, confidence there, but be a bit more aggressive, lads. Come on. De Vries, oh my God. De Vries overtook Lando. Our car is wank, man. It is so bad. What is going on there? What an easy overtake for him. Bloody hell. We need to, we, 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 we've designed a freaking jalopy here. F2 car. Bottas is, what's going on? Bottas just overtook Lando. Oh right, dear, Lando's hating life next. right now. What is going on? I mean, we're, we are both on the hard tyres. We're the only cars on hard, so that's probably a big reason why we're not looking great. So we just need to stick the course. Stick the course. It's all okay, for the cause, and the cause directs us all. Meanwhile, I've just realised what on earth is going on at the top. Alonso P2 in the Aston. Where it? Verstappen P5. Russell's still stuck in P12 in a train, but Alonso's doing insane. All right, DRS enabled. Piastri, oh my God, the Haas is all over the back of him. We are really in struggle town right now on these hards. We're just looking to just, just keep at it, lads, okay? We're getting to that wet period. Oscar Piastri, been overtaken by Bottas, but I just heard a team radio from Lando saying about, sorry about shunting. I think that was, or I just shunted, or I don't know. What happened? Into turn one? No? Okay, Piastri just got overtaken. What happened to Lando? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, no. Wait, why is he so slow? He's like three seconds. Oh, did he spin? I think he had a span. Oh, it's a spin. It's a spin. It's a spin. Oh, damn it. Oh, Lando, Lando, Lando. Damn it. That's not what we want, bro. That is not what we're on. Right, sit rep. Lap 15. We're last and second last, but the pace is okay. We're not like miles away from De Vries. We're keeping this gap of 1.9, which is good. Tires aren't overheating because in clean air, the hards are still working very well. A good operating temperature and aggression. It's just about getting to this period of rain and hoping we can make the most of that period. Right now, we're literally just... I'm just looking to skip ahead to it, basically. And Bottas pits, so we're into P18 and 19. So we are going to jump some people eventually right lap 21 we've overtaken both alfa romeos who are fighting each other so hopefully we can overtake a few more it's a bit overcast and lando maybe going for a move on piastri and he's overtaken him the two teammates swap lando p1 now and gain some confidence from that piastri's confidence very very low unfortunately very high confidence for for lando so that's why he skipped ahead and we're going to push him ahead, I think, because he's just got that confidence. Oscar needs to gain some here at his home Grand Prix. Oh, look at him. Oh, it's so sad. He even looks sad in the photo. Rain started. Oh, it started early. It started a lot earlier than I thought it would. And Norris. Oh, Lando's going for a move on the Alpha Tauri. Come on. Yes. We made a move. We've got back ahead of De Vries. Suck it, mate. Okay. Yep. Okay. I'm going to go for medium risk. Medium oh, risk overtakes, lads, okay? It is wet. We now need to watch out, but this is a good move from Lando the on the inside of De Vries. Good stuff, mate. Good stuff. All right, it's looking wetter and wetter out there. We're going to push the drivers to keep the tyre temps up, and hopefully there's no mistakes involved in that. De Vries in the pits. Piastri overtook De Vries. Right. De Vries in. He's on inters. 
He's gone into his early. He's gone into his early. I think with Piastri, do we go? Is anyone going to come in? Let's see what the leaders do. Perez, does he come in? Perez is not in. Perez is not in. Is he going for the full wet period? I wonder. Let's split the strategies. We have to do something different. So let's go for Inters for Piastri now. Leclerc's in. Leclerc's in for Inters, I think. Let's see. Comes out on intermediates probably, I'm guessing. No, he's not out yet. Where is he? Come on. How's the track? Okay, load of people on Inters. It's a bit wetter than earlier still. Okay, it's damp. Okay. Nice and light, Lando. Nice and light. Nice and light. Avoid high risk curbs. Oh, they're very slow. They're very slow. I think we have to come in with Lando as well. I'm going to come into full wets. I'm going full wets. Screw it. I'm going full wets for Lando. I'm going full wets for Lando. We're sending it. Russell's done it as well. Russell's done it as well. We're in for full wets for Lando. Oscar's in as well for Inters. We're risking it with both drivers. But we're splitting the strategies to give us maybe one chance at something. Lando's in though. Those aren't the full wets, but I'm hoping that he actually goes on to full wets. Because I did set them. I did set full wets. What's happened there? What's happened there? I definitely put full wets on. I definitely put full wets on for Lando. But he's come out on inters. No, there you go. Okay. Okay, okay. Thank God. Okay. Push fuel, push fuel. Right. So Lando. Ooh, Lando's getting overtaken by an inters runner. All right, maybe we need to actually chill out with Lando a little bit because he's on full wets right now. He's not on the quickest tyre. Bit of ooh, bit of chaos here coming up. As we've got... Ooh, Bottas on softs is holding everyone up. And Lando's gaining P18. Piastri behind. Might go for the, for the double multiple pass. Oh, it's getting close. It's close. All right, we've got more people in the pit. So people coming off into his onto full wets, I wonder. It looks like it. Oh, Piastri might go for the move. Let's go for standard. It is definitely time for full wet, maybe for a bit. But then it might be Inters later. So I think we just keep Piastri out. Leclerc staying out. Is Piastri going to make a move? He does. He goes for it. The two McLarens side by side in the wet. Lando's wets are overheating a bit. Let's calm those down. My tyres are very hot. Okay, we need to conserve Lando's tyre. Full wets are very, very hot. Really conserve the tyres. Race control. It's now wet. It is now proper wet. And Lando is now catching up to Piastri once again. The full wets are better. Leclerc's in off the inters. I'm going to stick it out with Piastri because there's definitely an intermediate period right here. Norris overtakes De Vries. We've caught up to De Vries. Full wets versus inters. And Lando gets past the Alpha Tauri. Nowhere near that P12 though where... Uh, Oh, Piastri's very slow. He's struggling to keep temperatures in because it's very wet. We just need a couple more laps, mate. Just stay out. A couple more laps. All right, the water's coming down. Piastri's lost a lot of time to Lando with this risk. A lot of time. But um, he doesn't have to pit, at least, again. Race control's damp now. It's damp. All right, we're up to P... Oh, pit stop issue for Stroll. We're up to P14 with Lando. P20 for Oscar. Three seconds down the road to De Vries. Looks like the gamble we, we tried to do by staying out on Inters hasn't really paid off that much because we just lost way too much time in that wet period. But let's see how he makes it up, maybe. Is it going to get to Dries again? I don't know. I think we have to pit Norris. I think we have to pit Lando. Pit now, Inters. Because it's going to be... Yeah, the wet's going to be here for a while, isn't it? Track condition. Yeah, the water's still there the whole race. Okay, coming in with Lando now. All right, Lando's out. And he is in P60. In the end, it's another tough race. Tough old race. Tough old game, this. All right. Piastri's caught back up to De Vries. No so he's not going to be stone dead last if he can make this overtake. Deploy, deploy. Get the move done, mate. Come on. We're not going to be last place in your home race after qualifying in Q2 yesterday. Come on, you can get this guy. Meanwhile, Norris is P16, 3.4 off Albon. Don't think we're going to progress much else further than that. Just looking to try and get Piastri this overtake so he's not last place. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it, Oscar. He's going to go for it. He's making the move on the inside. 10 laps to go. Q2. 
come on. Slip it down inside. Lovely. Up into P19. See you later, mate. See you later. Why am I so happy about 19? God. Go on, mate. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Get him. Get him. Get 15th. Get 14th. We can get Albon. We can get Sonoda. Oh, I'm, I'm on deploy, but he just can't get the move. He needs to get one of them done into turn one. Come on, mate. You can do it now. Right here. Good exit. Gaining. Not enough to make a move, though, unfortunately. Right, two laps to go. VSC. Ooh, VSC. What? Why is that? Why is the VSC on? Okay, VSC. We can calm things down. We can harvest. Might be a last-ditch effort to try and get these two positions with uh, Lando. A yellow flag now. And it's because of multiple cars crashing. Leclerc's leading the way, by the way. Looking to win this Australian Grand Prix in the wet. Hamilton and Alonso. Are they going to crash? Oh, big, big. Just turned in on me, man. More like absolutely rear-ended you, man. Right, Virtual Safety Car is still out. Time penalty for Stroll. Ooh, okay. Interesting. We're going to gain two positions here. When's Virtual going to release, though? It's the last lap now. It's last lap. Let us race. Let us race. No, Virtual Safety Car all the way to the end. Oh, it's ending. It's ending yes, now. Ending. At the very end of the race, it is ending. Confirm. Come on. Can I do like a balls to the wall? Just throw everything at it. I'm kind of saying that now. Here we go. Leclerc's won, by the way. Leclerc. Charles Leclerc and the Ferrari wins the Australian Grand Prix from Perez, Verstappen, Alonso. Oh, sorry. It wasn't Alonso then. It was Stroll that hit the back of Hamilton. And Lando... He's going to get up to P14, but can't get these two positions. It could have been P12 if he managed to overtake these two earlier, but just didn't have the facilities for that. Hopefully, he will one day in this series. Piastri, after such a good qualifying, really sad, unfortunate P17. It's my fault. I try to risk it too much with the weather. Should have known better that it just wasn't going to work. There was too much heavy rain when we when we didn't pit him, but... Um, I was kind of hoping for a different kind of race to allow us to exploit that. But in the end, there wasn't really much exploitation to be done. Every AI was covering it off. They're, you know, they're clever. They're good. It's difficult. We're going to, you know, so far, three rounds, no points. We're going to have to really hard earn this return to glory in this series, I tell you. And the DHL fastest pit stop there. Oh, we, did, we didn't do that great, did we? Where are we? Where's our... Far oh, we weren't even in the top ten. Poor form, boys. Poor form. God. More money comes in. Side pods are manufactured. Could that finally be the time where we get points next episode? Lando up to 88 overall. Are all the signs pointing to Baku being the place where we finally get some points as we still search to get off the mark here in 2023? Guys, if you have enjoyed it, hit the like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you're around here, then do get subscribed for weekly Formula 1 content. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.